P-values have been the gold standard in science and marketing science for decades, but nearly everybody is using them wrong, so much so that it's actually led to a crisis. Let's break it down. So what you care about is that the probability that Facebook's ROI is 2x, or more likely that the probability that Facebook's ROI is above 1.8x. That's what you care about. You care about that this thing is true. P-values don't tell you that. They don't tell you the probability that the thing you care about is true. They actually tell you something different. They tell you that the thing you don't care about is not true. And those aren't the same. So typically when you run, say, a Lyft test, you'll get a p-value if the Facebook's ROI is not zero. That's what statistically significant is. But you don't really care if Facebook's ROI is zero, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. As long as it's inefficient, you want to pull back the spend. So what you care about is not that it is not zero, you care about that it is above some threshold number, and they're not the same. And so when you're designing a test, an A-B test, or looking at MMM results, you really shouldn't be thinking about p-values. You should be thinking about the probability that the number is above some threshold, which is going to be a more complicated statistic. Most analysts won't produce it by default, but it's something that you should look for.